Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Lorenzo Grande, and I'm a technology analyst at ID Tech X. Uh, today, I'm here with Denis, uh, who will tell us a bit about Ilica and uh, uh, their um, the applications uh, in the IoT industry. Well, so, Lorenzo, uh, last year we uh, launched a uh, solid-state battery at the ID Tech X. Uh, which was our M250 Stereax solid state battery for smart homes and smart building. And this year we've got a new product uh, which uh, can operate at higher temperature, up to 150 degrees, uh, to uh, be uh, inserted in uh, sensors for industrial applications uh, next to a hot machine or an engine in a, in a car uh, for sensors. Uh, and this is demonstrated here. Okay, um, can you tell us a bit about the perpetual beacon? That's right, well, uh, these, uh, cap these batteries have uh, sub-million power capacity. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what can they really do with such a small capacity? So we're demonstrating this with a, a beacon that has our battery, a, a PV panel from Lightricity. Uh, we're combining those two to uh, power uh, this autonomous sensing device which has uh, electronics including sensors, temperature sensors and the data is sent to uh, a tablet through Bluetooth. What you really want to look at is what's down here which is the same uh, device on a hot plate at 120 degrees and it's still operating quite nicely. Wow, that's impressive. And uh, here we have a, a wafer which shows the way it is, uh, your uh, batteries are produced, right? Yeah, that, that's correct. So uh, the uh, way solid state batteries are produced uh, is through a uh, PVD, uh, physical vapor deposition technique, evaporation in, in uh, uh, vacuum chambers okay. uh, using a six inch wafers, kind of semiconductor type uh, wafers. Okay, so you, you, you uh, transferred some techniques from the semiconductor industry uh, to produce your solid-state uh, batteries. Uh, absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, techniques for uh, depositing uh, and synthesizing MEMS or OLEDs are, OLEDs are not really far away from the way we make those batteries, so it's quite transferable. Wow, that's great. And uh, as you said before, you're, the markets you're targeting are the, is the Internet of Things with its industrial applications, so Industry 4.0. And uh, uh, you, um, what, 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 um, can you give us some examples of uh, where these uh, batteries could be employed? Well, you've got it on the head. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are small batteries, small in size, so they are very useful for uh, inserting in very small sensors that you don't really want to forget, you want to forget about and make them invisible. And the high temperature performance is enabling those sensors in, on hot parts. So industry for predictive maintenance, a machine uh, acquiring data that might tell you whether the machine is about the pump, for example, mm -hmm. a pump is about to heat up and, and, and break. Uh, uh, you know, data to enhance productivity mm -hmm. um, in cars, for example, sensing uh, gas through an exhaust composition of gas, where, where the temperature is quite, hot, uh, quite high is okay. very useful. Yeah. Wow, that's great. And um, so what do you think of um, the Aditech X show? I guess here we have, we have many companies that come to your booth and have maybe some partnerships in mind uh, with your well, device. Well, we, we start loving it here, mm -hmm. so we keep coming back to it. Um, we like uh, learning about the ecosystem and we s we're getting all those people really s sharing this vision for IoT and we know we are part of an ecosystem and so we want to understand where those people are uh, to start working with them. Wow, that's great. <laughs> wow, well Denise, thanks again for your time and I uh, uh, wish you best of luck. Pleasure Lorenzo, thank you. <laughs>